For Bob's Ultra Shrimp, we're going to be using Ultra Hair, Fine Mono Thread, Varavas STV 2600 hook, Burnt Mono Eyes, 20 pounds or to 40 pound test, Saddle Feather, and Tough Fly Flex. We start this fly by laying a thread base of Mono Thread up and down the hook shank. Then we attach our first clump of Ultra Hair behind the hook eye, leaving a small space. And as we move our thread to the back of the hook, securing the Ultra Hair, we pull down on the Ultra Hair, splitting it around the hook bend. This will force the fibers to naturally want to point in a downward direction. The second bunch of ultra hair is attached roughly even with the hook point. It is then secured to the top of the hook so that it points directly out the back of the hook. Now we'll take roughly a four inch piece of 20 to 40 pound mono, hold it vertically, and burn the tip of the mono. You want to form a little ball to make the eye. You can put Sharpie marker on it before you burn it so that the color will stay and you won't have to apply it at the end. Before we attach our mono eye, we take a pair of flat nose pliers and flatten the mono that we're going to be attaching to the side of the hook. Each of the mono eyes will be attached to the side of the fly. The eye itself should be positioned so that it's just even with the bend of the hook. When you're done, you can fold both of the eyes slightly outward. A saddle feather is attached roughly at the hook point, and it is slowly palmered all the way forward, just shy of the hook eye, and tied off. When selecting the saddle hackle, make sure that the barbs, once they're wrapped around the hook, will extend roughly even with the bottom of the hook bend. Once the feather has been secured to the rear of the hook, we'll come back in with our scissors and trim just the fibers that are pointing straight up from the hook. We do not want to trim the sides, just the top. The last clump of ultra hair we attach to the hook will be about twice as thick as the other ones. It'll extend past the bend of the hook and will also have it extend about a quarter inch in front of the hook eye. When we secure that last clump, we only use a few thread wraps and tie off our mono and at this point the tying will be done. Just don't overdo it with thread wraps. Just keep them nice and tight in one spot. Now we can trim the tail off and just knock off each of the corners of the tail. To finish off the fly, Bob will apply Tough Fly Flex, which is a light cured acrylic. This version cures with blue light, not UV. Bob starts applying the acrylic to the top piece of Ultra Hair and then puts a little bit between that top piece and the hook shank. If you notice, he does not use a lot of material. Less is more in this case. 
Now Bob slowly manipulates the fibers to distribute the flex evenly into the shape that he likes. Now it's time to set the tough fly flex with the blue light. He slowly works the light up and down the fly, making sure that it cures completely through. He also rotates the fly on each side to make sure that the material is cured all the way through. Bob will now go back with a second coat of flex just to fill in any spots that might be low or that he doesn't like. And then hit it with the blue light to finish off the fly. Once more though, you should notice though, he's not applying a lot of material. He's just filling in the spots and rounding out the fly to make it look like the way he likes it. Now here's Bob curing the fly for the last time, making sure that all the tough fly flex is cured completely through the fly. When he's finished curing the fly, he typically just puts a coat of tough fly top coat on top of the flex. Bob now is doing the final trimming to the fly and manipulating some of the fibers in the leg and the mouth parts. If you notice, the top carapace has been cut back on a sharp angle. Well, Bob is done trimming the fly, and as you can see, it looks exactly like the grass shrimp we get up in the Barney at Bay. Thanks, Bob, for another great fly.